Hello everybody, Spraggles, aka Jake, your resident content cowboy here, and today I'm going to show you the secrets of the j <laughs> Today I'm going to show you the secrets of the Greninja Water Shuriken build. Our held items, Buddy Barrier Muscle Band, Focus Band. You could also swap this Focus Band for something like a Scope Lens if you want to get more damage out of your critical hits. I'm going to take you into the practice area right now. I'm going to show you some pretty cool interactions with Greninja and its moveset, and then I'm going to take you into a match. For this build, we're going to be using Double Team Water Shuriken. I actually think Smoke Screen's probably better overall, but Double Team does have a really fun interaction with Water Shuriken, which is your Double Team's throw Water Shurikens. And as you can see, they don't do no damage. They are actually fighting for you and distracting the enemy, which is pretty cool. Smoke Screen has some really amazing abilities as well, and I might make a video on a, a Surf Smoke Screen Greninja at some point, but this is going to be Double Team Water Shuriken. So there are our Double Teams. Let's talk about Water Shuriken. Water Shuriken throws, I think it's three to four or three to five shurikens, and then once it's upgraded, four to six shurikens. From what I understand, it's completely random as to how many shurikens you are throwing at any given moment. When you are throwing them, you get a slight move speed increase, so you can use this to back away from the enemy, or you can use it to get closer to the enemy so that you can use your stronger attacks. Greninja has two attack ranges. It has its ranged attack, which is throwing its shurikens like this, and then of course, this smaller circle that you see is its melee attack. Greninja's melee attacks do increase damage based on how low the enemy's HP is. So when you see the enemies are low, you want to take the opportunity to use your water shuriken to get closer and then use those basic attacks at close range because you'll be doing more damage. It's essentially a way for Greninja to assassinate enemy Pokemon. It's how you get a lot of your KOs. You're not going to get your KOs when, you know, obviously they're high health. Uh, you can't get them no matter what with any Pokemon, but Greninja really benefits from the enemy's health being low. When you notice that, you can use Water Shuriken or even Double Team, get closer and use these basic attacks to deal more damage. Now, here's a cool interaction with Greninja's longer range attacks. Let me turn off my move cool or turn on my move cooldowns. After you throw a Water Shuriken, you can see you have a cooldown here of five seconds, but every basic attack I'm hitting is lowering the cooldown of Water Shuriken. So you can play a lot of the fight throwing your shurikens, throwing your basic attacks from range, and you get it back faster and faster. So it's just another good reason to constantly be basic attacking as Greninja, is you're going to lower the cooldown of your water shuriken. This works for Surf also, by the way, so it will lower the cooldown of Surf. However, water shuriken is just one of those moves where you're already at range, and then you're throwing your basic attacks at range, so the synergy there is really nice. I should also mention that your water shuriken slow enemies. So you can see that little trail of water on them. These bees are slowed when you're hitting them with water shurikens. It's another great way to catch up to the enemy or escape. So if you're being chased, and you want to use your uh, water shuriken, not only is your move speed increased, but the enemies is slightly slowed. So you can get in, you can get out, and you can get on with your life. That's an ad for something. I also want to show Greninja's Unite move interaction. It's water burst shuriken. So when you throw it, just something to keep in mind is you decide where you hop off from it. So depending on what direction you want to go, if I want to go behind Blastoise here, I can throw my water shuriken and then I hold my stick and I bounce off this way. I can also throw my water Water shuriken here and head down if I want. I can throw it here and I can head to the left. I can throw it here and I can head up. So it's just something to notice that you do have a bit of a hop with this. If you want to throw this and then get on the other side of your enemy, or at least as close as possible, you are able to do that with your water shuriken. It's something to practice, but just noticing which direction you want to go is important. Uh, oftentimes you're throwing this sort of down here at this dreadnought fight. Let me show it real quick. So you're down here at this fight. You might be fighting the enemy. You're kind of waiting here, but you want to get into their back line. You want to attack that Decidueye or something behind there. So you decide that you're going to throw your Water Shuriken over there into the group of enemies, and you're going to follow it up by following them that way. Just something to notice. Or if you're in a bad situation, you throw your Shuriken, you think, oh, this is actually really bad. I just need to back up here and then quickly dash away. So something to think about with that. Obviously, when you throw your Unite move, you become super powered for a little while. This is kind of where you get all 
all of your big KO moments from Greninja. You can get KOs a lot of different ways. You can chase enemies down. You don't want a 1v1 Greninja if that Greninja knows what they're doing. But most importantly, that huge bonus to move speed, attack speed, and everything you get with your Unite, you get crazy KOs there. Remember, when you're close range, you're doing more damage. So you throw that Water Shuriken and you stay close to them doing these basic attacks. So you're doing increased damage. You also can, while you're fighting, uh, if an enemy is running, you can throw that Water Shuriken and you can chase them as well. Double team doesn't work as well for chasing, but it is a nice little dash move and it gives the enemies something to focus on there. One final thing, please don't do this with Greninja. Don't hide the entire fight in a bush and then throw your Water Shuriken. Yes, you can grab Zap that way if you have to, but that is not your job. You are not a literal ninja fight with your team if you have to if everyone gets ko'd and you have to find a way to take zap i understand but you should be in the fight fighting using the fact that you do tons of damage to your advantage damage to your advantage onto our match the center here you can substitute you can bubble you can do whatever you want both of them get about the same clear time here just sit on the lilla pup and attack it i kind of like bubbling more but it is what it is and then we take down Ludicolo, and we start to get our rotation. We've got Nine Tails top, and we've got up there with Garchomp. Ooh, okay. So I definitely want to head top. That's definitely going to be my rotation here. That's uh, that looks like a good place to go. They have Eldegoss, which can make it a little tough sometimes for ganks, but Garchomp usually has a tough time early. Bottom path has Nine Tails. That's usually a a tough time against us. So. Uh, our top Ninetales and their top Garchomp leads me to believe we'll have our best chance in the top path here for our our little gank. We're going to use Double Team on this build. Not necessarily the best, but I think it's pretty fun for Water Shuriken. We're set up here. Our bird isn't. Ninetales scoring. They're going to run after it. Yep, yeah, chase him down. Perfect. Oh, we missed our bubble. That's okay. Garchomp running here. Unfortunately, the Garchomp got out. It had X speed, which I didn't expect. I will continue to go in. If my team goes in, we can win this. Dang. We just uh, we didn't push as hard as I thought we would. We're, we are going to win it, but I thought I'd be able to live through it. Either way, my team gets it. So, unfortunately, we didn't get that Garchomp early. A little X speed chomp. All right. I respect it. I respect the hustle. Got to do something to get away from those ganks, and they had a plan. Okay. And when I say gank, by the way, sometimes people ask me, like, what does that term mean? So, it's just when you head into uh, an area and you're fighting the enemy outnumbered. It usually comes from someone from the jungle or center area in a MOBA coming to path or lane and, uh, you know, using that advantage to get a KO. That's usually what that looks like. So we used our three to two advantage to take down two of them. Unfortunately, I did get KO'd in the process, which is not ideal. We might be able to get this Squirtle here. Yeah, we do. Cinder's down here. We get Cinder as well. That's nice. Big KO for us. That's their center area Pokemon. And we get all this. Gonna have our level 9, it looks like, which is awesome. When, you, when you're when uh, you playing Greninja, you want to make sure you're close to them for the KOs, if you can be. You just get that extra assassinate experience. We break goal here. Wow, this is going really well on the bottom path. After we got their center area Pokemon, we are just in such good shape here. Uh, we just got to not get this stolen by the Eldegoss, wherever he went. Is he right in there? No. There's four of them. I'm going in with my Water Shirk. I'm just going to take the advantage here. I should be able to get at least two of them. Yeah. Oh, we got to unite from Cinder. I'm going to have to back up here. Oop, Cinder's chasing. He might get me. Yeah, let's go. We got our trick. I'm, I'm with you. 
Go, go, go. Oh, nine tails. You're lucky, Cinderace. Oh, you're lucky, buddy. Oh, nine tails saved you. All right. We almost got him. We almost got him. It's weird because we kind of had the dance of the unites, right? I unite, he backs up. Then uh, he unites, I have to back up. Fun fight. All right. Cinderace uh, gets out. A narrow escape. We've got bees up here, and then I need to run back to my center and get my experience there. It's not weird at all that Decidueye is taking whatever he can from that center area. I'm not there. So actually, Decidueye taking all that is great. I'm, I'm very much here for it. Um, can I help here? Maybe. I got 40. I'd love to score. We break. This is going well so far. Just off to a strong start. And uh, a lot of it is just because we had some really fortunate, um, really fortunate plays early. So we had that really nice Cinderace KO early. And from there, you get a lot. You get a lot of, uh, a lot of an advantage from that. Garchomp chasing me won't work out too well for them because I've got my water shuriken. So I can kind of back up, you know, and throw water shurikens at them the whole time. I'm just running away. Pew, 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 pew. And it's nice. Um, this is not a good fight for us. We should pull back. We can fight them, just not right here. Cinder's the target, and Hoopa goes down, unfortunately. Now I'm going in the back. I just need to get Cinder. Got him. All right, he goes down. We take Dread immediately. Come on, guys. So, uh, if I can, my job is to really punish the enemy carry, right? I, I want to take out all the squishy Pokemon on the enemy team and hopefully survive as well. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So when you see me targeting Cinderace, it's not because of that particular player. It's just that I want the, you know, their strong Pokemon, like me, to be gone. And if they're gone, that's great for us. So that's the thought process when I'm when I'm talking about going after Cinder. If they had a Decidueye, I'd definitely want to be going after Decidueye. You know, stuff like that. Duraludon. I want those Pokemon taken out, especially when I'm I'm such a you know sneaky assassiny type Pokemon like Greninja. You can really move in and get some big KOs here. The thing about Greninja is I feel like you're kind of fighting, interestingly enough, in sort of ooh. This this probably doesn't go in, but we can try. You're kind of fighting in waves. You kind of move in, do some damage, back up. Oh wow, they let us. They let us get that in. Jeez, jeez. Okay. So right now both goals are gone. This is nice for us. Uh, it, it sets up some good win conditions, and it also, you know, it's usually pretty upsetting to the enemy. Is that Garchomp coming over, or did he just base? I think he might have just based. Maybe. I like red buff. Decidueye likes red buff. We all like red buff. Um, if he wants it, he can have it. But I think I'm pretty good with it too. You know, I'm doing tons of auto attacks. I don't know if I can make it in time. I did burn my eject button to try to get here. Uh, I think it was not worth it because it didn't work out. But in general, I do think that strategy is worth it. If there's some way to get there. That would be great. However, we'll be okay. We've got Zapdos in 25 seconds. Dreadnought in 5. This Dread would be nice. Not the most important, but nice. We don't want to get KO'd for it, that's for sure. The enemy's setting up for Zap. Let's just gather around Zap. Cinder's right there. Okay. Yep, we're both doing the same thing. Okay. Taking this. Four down. Who's our fifth? Nine tails. It goes down. We get that. That goes down too. We all head towards center here. It's the only objective. All the other goals are down. I'm just leaving. 
I'm just trying to get in, get out, because I want to be able to defend in case there is a push. We have a minute 30 left, so there's a... Okay, never mind. I was going to say there's there's sometimes a legit counter push that can happen in those moments, but there we go. We had a really solid game with Water Shuriken double team. You saw a lot of those moments where we want to get in there really close with Greninja, and we also played back a lot. So we're playing away from the enemy a lot of the time, and then when it's time to KO, we move in and try to get all of those KOs. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Let me know what other Pokemon or build sets you'd like to see me uh, break down here. We'll take a look at the stats. I usually forget this, but people like stats here. We did 63k damage, not bad, uh, with 13k healing. A lot of that is not only our focus band, but also our water shuriken healing us up quite a bit there. So there we go. Thank you all. I love you. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm. Forgot to yeehaw.